The centered movement described in this video is entirely by inhale body expansion. If you can perceive any muscle use, then you are not doing the movement by inhale expansion. To learn, try getting the inhale expansion going first and then add the body movement to it. Now we're going to locate the center within our abdomen and for our purposes here we're going to define that center as a void. It's a void with a potential to open and as it opens it's going to suck air into it and that opening and the air sucking in is our inhale. So naturally as the air goes in the void will open even more and that is the expansion movement of the inhale. So you notice we're not talking about muscles moving here we're talking about a visualization process of a void expansion. So we're going to put our hands in front of our abdomen, clench them shut, and pretend this is the void that's within our abdomen. And as we open it, and open it sharply, it's going to draw air into it. So open your mouth and open that void. And you just took an in-breath without using any of the typical muscle contractions. So again, hold your hands clenched, open your mouth, and open the void within your abdomen, and you take an inhale. It's an inhale breath. And you notice your body expanded just like it does for all the other inhales, but there just wasn't a muscular contraction movement, so to speak. So one more time, we create the void and open it, and we inhale. And in nature, we see this inhale expansion movement when we get scared. It's called the startle response. So when we get scared or startled, we jump or we move if we touch something hot, right? We move quickly. So if we're jumping back because somebody just scared us, right, you'll notice that you go and you jump backwards or you move backwards, your body expands right? and it's on an inhale right from this void or center area that we just developed or just experienced. So again, just pretend that somebody scares you and you're going to jump back and you go and you just created movement with that Hara center inhale expansion and you also created an inhale. So also note that because we inhaled as we made the movement, we oxygenated all the body tissues as they swelled or expanded. So this is why that movement has a tendency for endurance is that it isn't using muscle to be created plus it's oxygenating the body tissues as it does move. So it has unique characteristics. And also, metaphysically, the Hara, the center, Dantian, right? They're all considered, say, pockets or origination points of life energy. And that might be because when you have oxygen coming in and out from these areas, that is life. Oxygen is life. It's the substance of all, of, of all the metabolism. So the concept of the center then is a source of life energy. And this life energy actually infuses the movement that it makes. So you'll notice like dancers or and artists, when they're moving, they're moving with this expansion of the air from the hara, letting it create the movement, and that's what gives character to the movement. 
videos of fully detailed applications of these internally produced movements and also of oneness are available for sports, music, equestrian, and archery with other topics to follow. For applications and discussions and examples, see the beinggifted.com Facebook page.